Welcome to Choi Adventures. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I painted this unicorn rock. I hope you like this video. This rock has been primed already with regular house paint. This is the paint that I use to prime my rocks. Uh, as I said in another video, my son just bought some sample paint and he was gonna throw it away and I thought, well, I'm just gonna use it as a primer because it's gray. So I kept it and it's, I've been given it use. So that way I saved it from going to the trash. So I started by doing a raft sketch of the unicorn on the rock. And then I started to paint in the rock on white because the unicorn is gonna be white as well. Now that the white acrylic paint has dry, I start doing the sketch again. This is just a basic idea. It doesn't have to be 100%. For example, here, if you look at the drawing, the, the mouth of the unicorn is too short. So while I was painting it, I made it a little bit longer. To do the shading, I just use black paint, very, very uh, watered down. The same thing with the blue and the red. I just use a lot, a lot of water on the paint, basically like watercolors. And that, to me, it looked okay. So I thought, well, this is good. And this way I was able to do the shading, the color that I wanted to do. So I started with the pink paint. I didn't start in order. I just, as I was doing it, I was working out the drawing and the painting to see how it looks, what did I like, what I didn't like. If you do this rock, please feel free to use the same image or you can do another image, another design. What I want you to do is to start painting rocks and don't be discouraged if the rock doesn't come up as you expect it to be because that's natural that's that's everything you learn through through practice the more practice you do the better you get uh, my goal is for you to start painting rocks and please let me know if you like this video give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think on the comments of this video To me, it works as a therapy because I just feel so relaxed and so calm. It's, it's like I go to another world when I'm painting. Uh, it might sound funny, but people that actually feel that way doing what they like, they will understand. And if you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and activating the bell so you can receive the announcement of my next video. For most of my rocks, I always try to use basic colors, but since this is a unicorn, it has colorful uh, hair, so I just use yellow, orange, uh, red, pink, black, and purple. Those are the colors that I use. If you have any questions or suggestions for my next video, please let me know in the section below as well. And for those who paint rocks, let me know what kind of paint is best for blending or if you have a suggestion. Also, I have a question for you. I want to change the name to this channel to something easier. So I was thinking to name it Roger Art Venture because that is my name. I name it Choi Adventure because that's my nickname. But let me know what you think or if you have another ideas or suggestions on naming my channel. Thank you. I appreciate your comments.
after finishing painting all the different colors, I went back with the uh, white and I just painted the egg to define the face of the unicorn. Also, I forgot to mention that I used gold paint for the horn. And here I just use glitter paint. I just found this one at Michael's, I believe. But I'm gonna leave the descriptions of all the paints and all the stuff that I use on the description of this video if you are interested in knowing which ones are used. Well, I hope you liked this video. Again, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video.